Hey, you're amazing. And you're beautiful. Introduce the video. I love you. Hey, did you get my email about me wanting to pitch you movie ideas? I did. Did you get my response about how I did All right, first up, it's a movie, but it's also a sweater. What? <laughs> you can wear it, you can watch it, you can do whatever. Look fabulous, be good. It's Sweater, the movie. No. So you know how every good movie is just a combination of two other movies? No. Okay, so you're definitely not gonna like Fever Hitch. This one's based on a script. All movies are based on a script. Not documentaries! Okay, so it's a documentary about scripts, right? The girl with the dragon tattoo fast and too furious. No. Stuart Thigpen was an average guy. Yes. Mmm, sorry, just took me forever to perfect that voice. Uh, ow. Harold and Maude and Kumar. Okay. Oh, if you like the sweater movie. I didn't. Well, let me get through the freaking pitch without you tainting it with your negativity. Sweater 2, the jacketing. No. Uh, I mean, will you not do that right now? It's like a lot of it is just dead skin. Okay. American Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> Just give me something, man. She was a girl who had all the answers. He was a boy who had just one big question. And then, uh, I got nothing. If you got something, that'll help me out a lot. Well, let's just pass on it for uh, now. All right. Maybe piling it. The Sisterhood of the Traveling Ants with a Z. No. Okay, maybe. That's, sorry, this, so the circles mean maybe? Because yeah. you've circled every single idea I said no to. The Talented Mr. Ripley's Believe It or Not. That one's not even a movie. Not yet. These are pit... Oh, I see. Rip. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, alright. I think that went well. It didn't. I said no to literally everything you pitched. Well, now I know what you don't want to hear, so that I can sort of reimagine everything. Don't think of any more movie ideas, alright, man? You're really bad at it, and I would quit entirely. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> well, that is a tough pill to swallow. <laughs> You gotta understand, I was really jazzed about these ideas last night. I was like airboxing with no one, writing them down, getting super jazzed. So for me to hear that, that's tough, man. That's tough for me to hear. I guarantee if you knew what you were saying to me, if you knew how much that would affect me, that you wouldn't have said half the stuff you just said. I think I'm gonna go. Yeah, I think I'm gonna peace out too. I might take a personal day, because I feel like there's like... Well, a... you just got back from a two and a half week long Mexican vacation. Staycation! And... You're right. Why'd you say that stuff, man?